a very important aspect of the time weather philosophy is our strong belief in the self-healing power which is within every human being. The self-healing power doesn't mean that we are able to heal ourselves in a, in the sense of um, of course responsibility for our own, own health but more in, in the sense of we can do something ourselves to heal ourselves. But it means that there is something very deep within us which we might call the self which is a cause of healing and which might also be the cause of suffering or problems or diseases. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a perspective on life and reality which understands that we are not the only cause of things happening but there is a deeper cause uh, within ourselves, but, but also within whole reality which we can call the self. So self-healing in this perspective is always caused by impulses from the self, impulses from within which intend to get us on a higher level of consciousness or a higher level of being. If you're facing a problem like Take it a disease. It is always a hint that we are stuck on a certain level of realization, on a certain level of consciousness in our life, and that there is an underlying conflict which holds us on this level of consciousness. And on this level of consciousness, on this level of the way how we deal in our life, normally or very often we do not find a solution. We do not find a solution and therefore we are stuck. So, that we don't find a solution um, might be because the solution is not available on this level. But it needs a different or we, you can say a higher uh, level of consciousness to look at the same problem and see or to look at the same conflict and see it's not a problem or it's not a conflict or it can be solved by a, a higher level of acting and perceiving. It's like if you have a um, some bad weather in a, in a valley like fog and maybe some sun, thunder, thundering or lightning is going on in a valley between two mountains. When you climb up the hill, you can look down to this scene. It doesn't mean that the conflict or the, 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 the bad weather is not there anymore. It is still there, but it's, it is there on a lower level of reality on a lower level of consciousness. So some problems might not be possible to solve on this level, but you have to just climb up the, the mountain. So this climbing up, up the mountain is not always possible just by a conscious endeavor. But it is in many cases only possible by first of all perceiving that there is a helping power from within, that there are impulses from the self which try to which almost almost try to urge us to to go in the right direction but which we normally are not integrating in our life or in our consciousness but we have actually a defense wall we have kind of a firewall which uh, uh, protects us from this uh, forces from inside so if we open up to this uh, impulses from the self which are there always if we open up and develop a strategy to integrate it in our conscious perspective of life, we naturally will come to a higher uh, perspective, to higher um, perception of meaning in our life, to a higher level, and we can escape the reason where the problem is really um, troubling. The work with time power is not intended to super superimpose a solution to, on the situation where the problem is, but the work with time paper is meant to give exactly these impulses from a deeper level to, and to help us to integrate it. Impulses uh, from the informational field or impulses from the deeper level of, of uh, reality, of inner, uh, or, uh, yes, of inner reality. 
and it is up to the person who, uh, the patient or the person who works with time travel, to integrate these impulses from the informational field which he gets. For example, if you do a time travel analysis, you are getting sometimes long lists of information which are related to your present situation, which might be related to the disease with which you're facing and which give you an insight about uh, the underlying reality. And these impulses can help you, for example, by consciously understanding what's going on on a deeper level, but uh, the same impulses can also reach you through another channel than just understanding in an intellectual way. Understanding in an intellectual way is only one way to deal with it and if you only work on this level it will not be sufficient. You also have to work on the level of feeling, you have to work on the level of sensing with your senses and you have to work through the function of intuition. So if you combine these four functions um, you can uh, not only perceive these impulses coming from the informational field, but you can also integrate it in your, in your life, in your consciousness. So it's always a, um, an impulse which can come from the informational field through time by and your own active work to integrate it into your life. So it's an active process which takes place normally not just between the time waiver system and the informational field and the, the client or the patient but it uh, takes place within the field which is established between the therapist or the user of time waiver and the patient and the informational field.